Hi, in this tutorial I want to explain to you how to set your permissions for your files in S3 Amazon. Now, in order to do that we have to open the Cloudberry Explorer. And here are my buckets over here, and I'm going to open one of them. There we are. And now, for instance, if I right click on a movie that I want to set as, as private, then I go to ACL and then click here on ACL settings. And then as you can see, it is set to all users over here. Now, if I click here on private, then it removes uh, this tick box over here. And if I then click on OK, then my file is set to private. And then I can right click on it again and then click on web URL. And in that case, I then can create, for instance, a expiring URL. So if I, let's say, want to have that uh, file expires uh, in one day. Then I click here the 12th of April and then I click here on generate. And then I can simply copy this or clip here, copy to clipboard. And then I can play that in my, uh, in my browser. I'm going to set this back to to uh, public because it is used in uh, miraclecom so to make sure that everybody can read it. But this is how you do it, basically. Now, the reason why you have to set these permissions to private is uh, because otherwise it is a bit pointless to use uh, expiring URLs. For instance, uh, if I show you this movie over here, this is a uh, movie with an expiring URL, but uh, if people, let's say, look into the code, the source code of uh, that page, And you might see here, this is the URL of the of the movie itself. So if they were to copy that, and uh, let's say play that in the in the browser, then they would be able to play that. Now in this case, it won't play for the simple reason that uh, that the file is protected. Now, if this movie was set to public, then uh, they could be able to download the, the file, but in this case, it is private, so it is protected. Okay, this is it. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.